morning, Coach. Dom. <laughs> uh, oh. I brought your fresh coffee. <clears throat> Thanks. How you feeling? Oh, terrible. My back's all twisted up half the night. My neck is stiff from sleeping on this football. <laughs> Maybe tonight you can sleep at your place again. Oh, no, I can't. Luther's gonna be there. I mean, he's there every night. I can't take any more of this, Dobber. <laughs> Have you seen the paper yet this morning? Why? I don't want to make you feel any worse, but there's this kind of weird ad I think you should see. <laughs> Job wanted. Ex-defensive coordinator from Large State University in Minnesota. Seeks work of any kind. <laughs> Call LVD at KL52881 any time, day or night. You think that could be Luther? <laughs> I think there's a good chance it's Luther. These are his initials, and that's his phone number, guy. That's what I was thinking. Oh. Well, I don't understand it. I mean, I just don't believe it. I... He actually thinks he's not coming back. I mean, what makes a person think that the worst is always going to happen? I think they call it general anxiety disorder. Huh? Yeah. We've been studying this in my psychology class. See, chronic negative thinking is actually just a defense mechanism. The subject believes that if they always think that everything's going to turn out bad, then they'll never be hurt or disappointed. Wow, that's interesting, Dal. What do you do for a person like that? I'll know next week. Hey, Dad. Hey, Kelly. Hi, Doc. Hey. Hi, look, I'm sorry to bother you so early. Are you all right? You look terrible. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I was afraid I was hiding it. Uh, did you spend the night here? Yeah, I did. It's a real long story, honey. I don't want to go into it. What do you want? Something with you and Christine. No. Hey, Kelly, don't make me be rude, babe, all right? <laughs> it's been a hard couple of days, that's all. What do you need? just wanted to know what was going on with Luther. You saw the ad, didn't you? No, I saw Luther. How come you fired him? I didn't fire him. Well, he told me you did. See? Now he's telling my daughter I fired him. He's going around telling everybody I fired him. Why would I fire him when it's just so much easier to run him over with a car? <laughs> no, I mean it. I've had it. I'm going to put a stop to this once and for all. What are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know, but i got to do something. I'm telling you, he is making himself nuts, and he is making me nuts. Uh, no, Coach. Actually, Luther is not making you nuts. You're allowing him to make you nuts by playing the role of the victim. See, you got to realize that you have the power to protect your own space and your own personal boundaries. You are in control. Well, not for long if I have to listen to that cow flop. <laughs> Look, where was he when you saw him when he told you all this? At the touchdown club. Sherry and I went there for coffee this morning. Oh, okay. Maybe he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. He was our waiter. <laughs> Glad to see your dad's no longer suppressing his rage. Yeah, taking psych this semester, Dob? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking about majoring in it, but it's clear on the other side of campus. 